what's going on guys so i know this kind of looks like a yard sale but let me tell you i just got done unloading my truck two hours of my day and i got two lg tvs with the remotes there's nothing wrong with them the guy even plugged them in and showed them to me right check this out look he gave me a like a a rack mounted uh network switch with all of these cisco access points i mean he literally gave me a box just a huge box full of them i'll um i'll sell them i don't want nothing to do with those but he gave them to me i got a brand new vacuum i needed a vacuum for the shop so boom got a brand new one check this out this is full of like computer stuff i mean there's cables there's like little types of adapters, um, just all kinds of stuff in here. So what I figured I would do is pick through some of this, see what I want, and sell the rest. Here's another box, keyboards, some old like mouse and stuff. Check this out. These are cameras. These are uh, dome cameras, right? Some of them are new. I mean, I've opened all of them, but yeah, HD cameras. Check this out, y'all. This is going to be my new piece of equipment. It's a toaster rack, toaster oven. Dude, we're going to modify this. We could put parts on this. We could put all kinds of things on here to cook or to bake or to shrink or to do whatever we want with it. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a new piece of equipment that's going to go in the garage. Check this out three computers i got a lenovo think center it's in nice shape um i got this hp kind of computer it's like an all-in-one very small profile uh, another bag full of wires and cables and mouse he gave me another lenovo computer they're complete these systems are complete there's there's nothing wrong with them except for you know they're outdated a little bit older but that's okay and then he gave me three monitors to go with it uh, two Acers and an HP monitor. So he gave me all this stuff for free. Oh, and a brand new big old sheet of acrylic. Whoo! Do you know how expensive acrylic is? That sheet right there is probably a hundred dollars. Gave it to me. is what my dad's computer is doing it is not booting okay so pops needs some parts for his new computer so we're going to hook him up with a 240 gig pny ssd and then i was noticing that his power supply is a little jank so we're going to give him a brand new evga 500 watt bronze 80 plus bronze power supply this will be more than enough for his needs. And if he wanted to go, you know, to something nice or a higher CPU or maybe a, a better graphics card, he'll be able to do so. But dad says that he would like for me to try to retrieve some of this information off of that hard drive if I can. I told him what it was doing. I don't know if I can pull any information off the drive. So what we'll do is we'll try to boot it, see what happens. If I can't get nowhere with it, that's fine. I'll pull it all out. We'll put all of this in and we'll go from there. Ouch. Oh yeah, the drive's completely failing. It's not going to boot to anything. The hard drive, that was a nightmare to get out, but I got it out. Look, it was a one terabyte. Anyway, garbage. Maybe we can use it for target practice. Um, I'm sitting here getting the next thing done, which is this power supply. All right, one cheap power supply out.
all right power supply is in let's get it hooked up um, before I go and get it even more hooked up let's go ahead and get our brand new hard drive out of the case Right, and we're just going to probably just install that and set it somewhere up in here maybe double side velcro tape it to like right there or on top somewhere in here oh I need to get that zip tie out don't want that all right man there is literally no cable management like anywhere in here um, I basically just tried to shove what I could underneath here. Um, this right here I'm going to clean up with, you know, maybe a couple zip ties just to try to keep some clean lines in here. But before I do all of that, I want to make sure this thing turns on and make sure there's nothing wrong with this power supply. Because the last thing you want to do is go through all that work and that power supply not work. Well, it's working. Ah, perfect. Awesome. I decided to put the SSD right there. That'll work good. All right, I'm going to do a little cable management, and we will hook some windows up to it, and we will be good to go. All right, so we're going to select 64, and we'll let it download the files. We'll get this Windows 10 on there, and Pops will be good to go. All right, guys, so I got all three systems built to exact specifications. The little one in the back is the master, and then these three here are the slaves. They're all identical, i5, 33, 50s, or 34, 20, or whatever they are, let me see. So they all have i5, 34, 70s, they all have 8 gigs of DDR4 at 1600 megahertz, and they all have the same SU650 SATA SSDs in them, and they're all running Windows 10 Home. So, these are ready to go. Um, what I'm going to do is right here in this little spot is where we're going to hook up the uh, the network and stuff up in this area and then I got a board that's going to go there and then these are going to sit um, on this thing that I just built that will go there and then we got some monitors that will probably go here uh, <coughs> our 3d printers since we have two of them I think I might put them actually over here and what I'll have is I'll have like a monitor and like a keyboard set up with the printers here. I can have the RC car stuff over here and then we will utilize my shelving once I get around for it. Dakota, I have not forgotten about you, my man. I have been slowly adding more and more stuff to this pile. Um, that's what I'm doing, dude. As I'm going through my stuff, I'm finding things and then I'm like, oh, I'll put that in his pile. So that's what I'm doing. But anyway, I thought I would show you guys. These are all Dell Optiplex 3 tins, but they all have been upgraded, modified. 